Hey everyone, this is the third video in my series on how to play Super Monday Night Combat. And if you've missed the first two parts, I'll have a link over here, and you can catch yourself up on that. But I'm going to go over the classes in this video. There are five classes. You have, you have Commandos, you have Strikers, you have Enforcers, Defenders, and Sharpshooters. And I'm just going to give a very uh, general description of each, the role in the game, and so forth. I'm not going to go into the pros themselves. You can look at that for yourself, see what they do. But I did want to say, uh, before I get into this, is that while you might be tempted to make a, a balanced team with one of each class, um, don't feel like you have to if you are bad at, say, Sharpshooter, but your team is picked, your teammates have all picked uh, one of each other class, uh, don't don't pick Sharpshooter. Pick a, be the Defender, you can be the Enforcer, or whatever you feel you're you're better with, because playing Clash you're good with and having an unbalanced team is better than playing a, ba a Clash you're bad with and having a more balanced team. So this, it's, not a, it's not a hard rule that you have to have five or have one of each class. So let's go ahead and start off with the Commandos. This includes the Assassin, Captain Spark, and Wascot right now. As I said before, uh, they'll be adding new pros uh, throughout the game's lifespan. So this is not going to be all of them. And the Assassin, or the commando class is a they're basically a a low a low health like right here low health high mobility class that basically focuses on picking off weakened uh, enemies they don't not like in the first game where they can uh, where the assassin could one shot people uh, in super Monday combat they're a lot weaker uh, damage wise because of the higher survivability of all the other of all characters in general but they are really good at uh, finding weak enemies picking them off and then getting out quickly they tend to have uh, good mobility, good damage, and another aspect of those they have uh, debuff abilities like uh, Wascot's Party Pooper, which reduces the damage that your um, enemies do for a period of time, which can help turn fights in your team's favor. This is a, um, a hard class to get into. You have to really learn how to when to engage your enemies and when to know when it's not safe to do so, and not leave yourself vulnerable. But if you do the good at it, you can be very uh, helpful in turning the tables of a match, uh, keeping your opponents uh, constantly afraid of you, and just generally being a nuisance. And that is Commandos. The next category is Strikers. We only have two right now. That is the Assault and Carl. Strikers are sort of a jack-of-all-trades. They have decent health, decent mobility, uh, some burst damage. They're pretty good at pushing bot waves. They're good at killing people. And generally, it's an all-around class. They can have a little bit of flexibility. They can switch between pushing bots, trying to kill people, or going up into the uh, upper or lower areas of the arena and killing neutral bots or disrupting commandos. And, you know, not a whole lot to say about this class. Pretty generalized class. Next up we have is the Enforcers. There are four right now. You have Cheston, you have the Gunner, you have the Tank, and you have the Veteran. Enforcers are very beefy, high HP, but very slow, uh, very slow classes. They also tend to do their damage only um, at a close range. But don't be um, don't be too overconfident about their range, about their lack of range ability. Because, for example, Cheston can throw a barrel that can hit you from a range. The tank has a railgun as a secondary weapon, and he can sort of snipe you from across the map. And the veteran can. Um, grab you and drag you to him. So while they're not best at long range, they do they aren't defenseless, so just keep that in mind. But generally the, the enforcers are going to try to push bot waves. They are very good at doing the damage up close. They can melt through bot waves really fast, push up the turrets. And because they have such high HP, they have very uh long in lane staying power. So they can also discourage people from trying to push beyond that point that they're at. So it's really a nice class if you want to if you want to feel very powerful, want to feel very uh, long lived, and they're not very hard to learn. As you can tell, most of them have very uh, low difficulty uh, low difficulty recommendations. Oh, sorry, recommendations. And that's pretty much enforcers. Uh, so next we have defenders. Defenders are um, they get confused as a healing class, and while healing is very important, I don't want to sort of uh, understate that. Um, their abilities aren't made for healing. As you see here, support and combat girl are two defenders. They don't have any sort of healing or support 
abilities. They have a primary weapon that will heal your allies. It can also overheal them, giving them extra the uh, yellow armor bar, which is very useful. You should know how to heal, know when to heal. But they're called defenders because they have they both have turret abilities. Fire base and combat kitties are both turrets that can uh, they can both overcharge to fire to be either more damaging or fire faster. And their main uh, role in the battle is to sort of lock down areas, prevent people from getting maybe prevent commandos from going um, behind your team to kill somebody, or to protect the Annihilator. I know a very uh, key strategy right now is to, before the Annihilator goes up, have a support or combat girl go up to the Annihilator area, or go down the Annihilator area, and set up some turrets or uh, some turrets down there to give you a nice edge at the beginning of the uh, Annihilator fight. So, just keep that in mind when you're playing these two, class, these two uh, pros, that they're not just about healing. Uh, make sure you utilize, you're utilizing your abilities, sort of making sure that you're see what areas you are vulnerable at and sort of keep them locked down to prevent ambushes. And last, we have the uh, sharpshooter class. They're actually quite similar to the to the commandos in that they finish off. They can they can shoot from far away, and they can sort of pick off wounded enemies they're trying to flee. And they include the gunslinger and the sniper right now. They are as the game says right here, they are highly recommended for skilled players that are good at uh, getting headshots because they both can do extra damage with headshots. But unlike a lot of shooters, the headshot is on an instant kill. Um, all things considered even, it's roughly about a quarter of your life if you're headshotted by a sniper or a gunslinger. And that doesn't seem like a good thing, but if you're good at getting headshots, it means you can quickly take down a, a target really fast, even if they're in areas where even a commando can't get into. So it's just a, it's a class takes a lot of practice to learn, and there is, see their their abilities um, are generally they're quite good at killing bot waves because they can headshot bots. They tend to have AOE abilities like flak and gun flurry that can take down uh, soften up bots pretty well. They have CC abilities like traps and kneecap, which slows you down. And they're generally a I haven't played a whole lot of sharpshooter because it's I'm not good at headshotting. But they're definitely a class that's underestimated, and if you do get good at it, good at it, you will uh, be able to lock down areas, um, basically create a sort of area denial where enemies can't go into without fear of being headshotted. And as a as a sharp sharpshooter, your uh, your main fear is commandos uh, seeing it from behind you, so you have to be aware of that, um, have good spatial awareness. And that is all the classes for right uh, all the all the classes for right now. I don't think they're adding any new classes. It'll be mostly new pros. And like I said before, as the game goes on, they'll be adding more and more pros. Right now you only have a few in each uh, category right now. So just uh, my recommendation is to find the one you like the most. Will you like uh, heavier classes or the lighter classes? Uh, stick with it a little bit. Uh, play one pro at a time. Um, see, get a feel for that pro specifically because they're all different. They all have their unique, um, even within their class, they have their unique roles. Like the assassin can cloak and avoid being hit, seen by turrets, which the other two can't do. Wascott, he can become immune to being grappled, which these guys can't do. So find which one you like, which class you like, and then find the play style within that class that you like, and just practice. And that is it. I will see you next time.